but it's the Oregon Guy 0312. And today we are going to making be making the origami dollar squid. As you can see clearly here, here are the tentacles over here, um, the body itself, kind of head. I made it in a way that the um, marks over here are kind of like the eyes. And you're going to need two dollar bills for this. So you're going to start with two fresh crisp dollar bills. And um, so yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the squid. You're going to need two fresh dollar bills, and we're going to start with one of them and make the tentacles. So first we're going to fold it in half, long ways. And then fold it in half again, width ways, width wise, whatever. So, yeah. Now, so you can unfold that, and then we're going to make a fold from the top corner, which is closed. The, the bottom part is open, as you can see. The top part that's facing away from you or facing towards you in the video. We're going to fold this, this so there's a line from the middle to the corner. A crease, just like... I know my hands are probably blocking it, but... Try to get as best as you can. So it's like that. So it's from the middle to the corner. And I like to do it, I like to fold it in half. I like to fold it in half just like that. So we can align it, align it without after doing the whole corner process. Again, so it's gonna be just easier for, to make it. So now you should have this, unfold that. And now we're going to uh, reverse fold these, create an inside reverse fold. So open that up, and then you just want to push this part in and back out itself. Just like that. Yeah, so you should have something like this, and do it on the other side also. So just take it and push it in. Okay, so, so yeah, you should have something that looks like this. I'm gonna just make it a little better, you know, just adjust the top over here a little bit. Oh my goodness, I don't know why I'm making it so bad right now. Okay, so you should have something like this. Now, you want to take both edges, this part, and bring it inwards. Or no, 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 just take one edge, this left edge, the left side. Bring it in. Kind of so it creates a little flap, just like this. Just like that. So you should have this. Now you're gonna take this part and create a squash. So you, have, you should have this little triangle up here, this part, this little flap, now squash that. Okay, and repeat that on the back. So you should have that, and just, yeah. So just take it, and try to just squash it. I apologize if my hands are blocking the view. I just, you know, I'm trying to fold also. So yeah, so you should have that. Now we're going to inside reverse fold back, these little open flaps over here. You don't even need to pre-crease that. I just like to, you know, just line it up against the raw edge. And, yeah. Wait a minute, let me close my door, just in case, so don't worry about that. But yeah, so do the same on the other side. Everything's gonna be asymmetrical on this. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this. 
And now we're going to do that same pole fold, just bring it together. This is kind of optional, but it just makes a little cleaner look in the end. And if you want, you could just tuck these little parts in, these, like re-inside reverse fold these little edges. Yeah, so you could just take those and do that. And this is the completed part one. So I'm going to take a short break and we're going to start with part two. Okay, so here we go, back with part two. Here's part one that we just made that are going to be the tentacles. So yet another dollar bill to make part two. So first, we're going to fold it in half, just like this. Then fold it in half like this. So you have a big cross in the middle. Now we're going to do pretty much the same thing that we did over there. We're going to make these little corners. We're going to bring these corners to the center crease. And, but this time we're going to do it on all four sides. So yeah. Something like this. Ooh, magical spinning dollar. Okay, so now flip that over. Make the crease a little sharper. Now we're gonna do uh, bring these to the center. But while we do that, we wanna let the back flap slip out. So just bring them to the center. Just like that. And do the same on all four sides again. So now do the same thing all over. Just like that. So you're gonna have something like this with two squares on the ends. And now I just fold it in half on that crease that we already made. And now at about the one third mark on each side, we're gonna fold it in. You don't wanna fold it to the center line, but pretty much on this uh, square, just under that point. So it overlaps the center line a little bit. And they overlap each other also, just like that. So you should have something like that. And now we're gonna insert one layer into the other, just a little bit. So we want from here, we just took this layer, put it in here. Just like that. And now that is completed part two. Flip it over and now we're going to insert it. To insert it, just put part one into the um, place in part two. And now mount and fold completely down the center. Just like that. Unfold it and add a little bit of accents. You could um, you could kind of like spread out the little tentacles. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, the completed squid. Add any kind of like uh, details that you like. You could make it a little sharper, make it a little curved more. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching and see you guys next week.